Hey everybody, it's Rami Marks, your Tangled Yogi out here in Northern California. And today we're going to be doing a really fun class on how to put together these really cool Christmas ornaments. If you have taken my Polynesian Star class, uh, that's a video that's on the YouTube channel, you will have the perfect tile for doing this class. If you haven't taken it, go ahead and go back and take the Polynesian Star class and then you too will have the perfect tile to make this nice ornament. Let's get started. Okay, so here we are, and we are going to get ourselves started here. Those of you who have done the Polynesian Star class, that is a video that I did a little bit while, a little while back anyway, and we did those on the Maryland tiles. So for those of you who are new to the Tangled Yogi world here, um, I have these really great tiles at tangledyogi.com. You can pick them up. They're called the Maryland tile. I have one in tan and in uh, white here, and they're really fun tiles to work on, and those are going to be what I use for the, uh, the class today. So this is a great video. Go and look for it. It's a lot of fun. A lot of people did it and really enjoyed it. So the things that we are going to need for class, you're going to need a pair of scissors. You're going to need a good hole puncher. And this this is a small hole punch. I don't want a big hole punch because then it's going to go right through the whole thing. But you can see it's got a teeny tiny little hole on there and that's going to be to thread through um, a little bit of string later on. I'm also using the Elmer's Craft Bond. Um, you know, kids glue sticks are good, but they do peel away after a while. This has a little bit more strength to it. Uh, you can pick this up on um, at any craft store, Joann's, or you can even go on to Amazon. And then uh, you'll need a little bit of this waxy string that I have, or any kind of string that you like. That's just fine. I just picked this up on one of my uh, crafting adventures. And then you'll need to have... Um, like some kind of a little glass bead to dangle at the end because it's always fun to have a little bling on your ornament. So let's get ourselves started here. I want to talk about the process of how to create. So you saw that I had my tile. What I did was I went down to my local copy shop and I had them copy that tile several times onto one, one particular piece. Now you can see that I had a bunch of uh, different times that I had done this particular piece and then I just had them copy it onto a piece of paper. It is on a lightweight cardstock so it'll bend fairly easily for me without falling apart. If you do this with regular paper it's not going to last very long and you notice that there's a little bit of a sheen on this paper. It just makes it a little bit more resistant to the elements which is good. So what you'll want to do is you'll take your piece and you can copy it a couple of times and then put it on a piece of paper and then take it down to your local copy shop or you can have them do it for you where they copy it a couple of times you cut it out and put it on a piece of paper. So you can see these are all on the page right here. I'm going to go ahead and start to cut them out. You can see I've already started. So I'll cut all these guys out and then we'll get to folding. See you in a minute. Okay, so you can see that I've had a chance to cut them all out. So now they're all set and ready to rock and roll here. Let's talk about folding. So I'm going to take these guys off to the side here. And I'm just going to take this one right here. I'm going to make this nice and big for everybody to see here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and fold it over. And I want to make sure that I'm being as precise as I can be. And then I'm going to go ahead and make sure that my fold is pretty darn strong there. Now, if you have one of those bone folders, you could use one of those, but I'm just using my, my fingers and that's just fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold all of our pieces over just like that. And you'll notice that now I have the white exposed from the tile here. That's the part that we're going to be gluing together. So you want to fold your piece inward so that the white space is exposed. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fold these guys over. You go ahead and fold yours over and we'll meet back here in a minute. Okay, so you can see that I've had a chance to fold all these over. They look like little Zentangle tacos. <laughs> all right, so let's get to gluing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure that this is nice and folded over. And I've kind of got it so that it's closed like a book. And I'm going to take my glue stick here that I have. You want to make sure that your glue stick is working and that it's clean. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add glue to 
the perimeter of the piece itself. And then I'm going to take my next piece and you can see that it's open and all I'm going to do is I'm going to line up one triangle with the other triangle. So you can see that I'm lining that up as best as I can. And you know that this stuff is kind of tricky when you're doing this. So give yourself an opportunity to take a breath. It will get a little frustrating, but you can, you can figure it out. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to push down on it, make sure that it's working. And then now I've already got the beginning of the piece here. You can see how that just worked. Right, so now I can turn it and you can see that's one side. So then I'll fold that over. So it's just like a book. So I'm just opening it and gluing it in. Opening it and gluing it in. So here's my next piece. So I'm just gonna take it. Notice how I'm lining up this side with this side here, right? So it's like a closed book and I'm just taking the next page and I'm adding it in. So I'm gonna go in add a little bit of my glue to the perimeter here and maybe get a little sum in the middle just to make sure that we keep it extra secure. And then all I'm doing is I'm going in and I'm lining up my triangles the best I can. Remember, you know, these things take time. Just be patient with yourself getting it in there. You know, I'm not I'm not a master craft person. This is not not anything that that average Joe can't do, right? <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fold this over, make sure it's nice and clean, and we're getting pretty close here. So you can see now I've got this really nice kind of book feel to it. And now I'm gonna take my piece and I'm going to open it. So you can see I'm in the beginning here and I'm just gonna lay it flat because this is gonna be my last piece here. Okay, and by the way, if you need to pause me at any time, feel free to do so. I'm gonna just go ahead and add a little bit of my glue in here. And then get in there with the glue. And then I'll go in with my last piece and hopefully this is gonna work out. I'm lining up my corners, lining up my corners. I'm getting it all in there nice and good. And you can see that I have some, some parts of it that are not lining up perfectly. And I can always go back in and shred off a little bit of a piece here. But you can see now that when I open it up, we have our ornament. How cool is that? So if you need to go back and watch me as I glue it, this is a great place to pause and get yourself to this point. And then we're going to go on with um, how we're going to attach things. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. All right, so hopefully you've had a chance to go ahead and glue all your pieces together. And what I'm going to do is I'm looking at places where I've got a little bit of imperfection going on here. So I've got, you know, some things that aren't lining up just quite right. So I can go in with my shear and just cut away anything that's not working out, right? Because we, we want it to be fairly close if we can. So you can see that I just got a little bit of that edge off of there and I'm going to look for any places where I still see a little bit of um, things that look a little bit off. So I'm just going to go in there and it's just little clean up pieces here, nothing big. Yeah. So once you've got that, let's talk about going ahead and adding the, um, the holes to it. So you can see that what I'm going to do is I'm not going to go anywhere where it's in between. I'm just going to fold the piece back and down so that it's now open. Now you can see that I had a little bit of breakaway right in here. Can you see that? I'm going to add a little extra glue in here just to make sure that that stays put. And I'm putting it just on my finger and I'll just make sure that that stays nice and close because you really do want this to stay put together. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lay this flat now. And once I've got it laid out flat, I'm going to grab that hole punch that I have here and I'm going to take that hole punch and I'm going to make sure that I have the piece where I want it. 
and I'm lining up that little, um, the, the part that makes the hole punch towards the bottom of the piece here. You can see I'm being very careful about where I line it up. You could even put a dot if you wanted to, but I think I'm just going to go for it here. So there's one hole right there and you can see that it's a little bit off, but not enough to make me throw this one away. And then I'm going to turn it again and I'm going to put another hole punch in here. That one was a little bit better. So you can see there's my little hole punches there. So go ahead, grab your hole puncher, pop those in there, and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I've cut a, a string about, I'm going to say that's six inches in length. That just makes it easier for you to work with here. I'm going to take that string and I'm just going to loop it through the piece here. And then once I have it looped through the piece, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tie it off. Now, you want to make sure that you make this really secure. Uh, I participated in something called Flood the Streets with Art over the weekend. And, um, you know, you want to make sure that when you're putting stuff out into the world that they are secure. So I had to make sure that these guys were really secure when I was um, putting them out. It was part of a... Um, an answer to Black Friday and we made a bunch of art and put it out for free for people to find so you can see that this piece is now pretty darn secure which is great and so then I'm going to work with the bottom of the piece here so I've got my my little bead and you can see that there's a little jumper ring on my bead this bead happened to come with the jumper ring if you don't know what a jumper ring is it's what attaches a bead to a piece and you can go into Michael's and they have the jumper rings there and they have all different sizes and this is a really nice one uh, so what I'm doing is I'm just opening it up because it's large enough that I can use just my my hands but if you want to use a pliers you could use a pliers too and I'm just going to loop it through here and you can see it's now looped through and I'm going to close it and you want to make sure that when you close it you don't leave it halfway off like that you want to make sure that you get it really well secured because paper can slip through just the smallest of openings here so now you have the beginning of your ornament almost ready to go go ahead and attach your strings and your little beads and I'll see you in a minute Okay, so you can see I've got the bead on and the string is now ready to go. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to open up the piece just to get it to get ready to spin. And then I will hold on to this and it is ready to rock and roll, which is really fun. So for those of you who did the Polynesian Star class, this is what your ornament will look like. Now, some of you may have taken another class of mine. Uh, you may have taken the Aloha Waves class. That's one of my online Zoom classes. And that works really well for this particular one. So I did a hexagon of this and I just thought it was so much fun. So I'm just opening up that hexagon and you know, it spins really nicely too. So I used the same exact thing for um, the hexagon tiles, which are really fun. And those are um, the honeycomb tiles and those are also at tangledyogi.com. So if you really enjoyed the class, and I hope that you did, you can always come and visit us at tangledyogi.com or you can check out the channel and look at a little bit more stuff. If you're interested in trying the tiles, the Maryland tile is a really fun tile. Go and check it out. So thanks so much for coming and checking out the video. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up on YouTube or leave a nice review and that'll help us to get a little bit more traffic. So once again, this is Rami Marks, your Tangled Yogi, signing off. Hope you have a great day.